Hey guys, and welcome back to Tamer Battles, and today we are doing the Last of Cataclysm Tamers, and it would be Mr. Ben Fury right here, and he can be found right here in the Twilight Highlands. So his team will consist of the Twilight Spider, the Dark Phoenix Hatchling, and also the Twilight Fiend. So it will be a uh, magic type. Uh, elemental type and uh, do, 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 beast type. So my team for today, my clockwork robot is going to be beating up Mr. Beastie with his mechanical attacks. We have got the electrified razor tooth in here for the elemental type. And we have Mr. Emerald Prototic Wellplane in for the magic type. So let's get straight into this fight and let's see how it goes, shall we? So, yep, we want to have a Mr. Pet battle. So he brings his, oh dear, he brings his elemental type out first. So that's not good for our clockwork robot because he takes more damage. So what we're going to do is switch straight into our electrified razor tooth. We are going to get a rip attack off. And he is going to laser our sorry little asses. And next what we're going to do is get a blood in the water off, which should do crap tons of damage to him. Hopefully it crits. Doesn't crit, but he will be dead next turn, and what I'm guessing he's going to use next turn is Dark Rebirth, which will bring him back to life, and every turn after that, he will take 20% of his HP. So, that's never good, but that is him dead. We are going to get a quick Lightning Shield up, even though we're going to be dead next turn, but we may as well do extra damage to him. So, that is our... Oh dear, that is our elemental type dead, which is not a great start. So he's bringing his fiend out next, which is the magic type. So we will bring our Prodrick Welpling in just to get ready for that. And what we're going to do, you will probably die next turn regardless. So I'm going to get a Proto Strike up, which will put me in the air, which is just a fly attack or lift off attack or whatever you want to call it. And... Boom, he is dead, so I didn't actually kill him. I thought I was going to kill him beforehand, so that's not great. But we do have our dragging passive, which isn't going to do much because he's a magic type and he's only going to take 40% of his normal damage, or his maximum HP. So we will use our breath attack, which only does 600 because it is 40% of his natural HP. So what he's using is pathogen glands, which are adrenal glands, which is not a great attack at all. If you look here, you can see all his accuracy is really down low. 70% accuracy is not great. So we should be able to finish him off without him hitting us, which is what happens. So that is him dead. And what we're going to do next is get an ancient blessings off. And Mr. Spiderling is never fun because spiders are a pain in the arse. So... What he's done to me is used the Brittle Webling, which every time I attack him, I'm going to be taking damage for him. And of course, his Swarm Spiderling, or Spiderling Swarm does double damage when your target is webbed, and that also counts as me being webbed, so it does a crap ton of damage for me. So I get the Breath Attack off, which I miss, which is not good. And he's going to finish me off here. Yep, I am Kudosed. So what we're going to do next, we're going to get a sticky grenade up and we are going to hit him next turn, er, in three turns for 600 damage, which is always nice. Next, we are going to use Toxic Smoke, which deals damage. It's kind of like a dot, which is pretty good. It's a strong dot. And next, we're just going to missile him until he dies and hopefully he dies quick because Mr. Rob Terry here is getting a battering and he should be dead next turn. So that is, boom, you're dead. Yep, you are going to die. Boof. And that is how you beat Mr. Bean Fury. Now, I could have done that a lot easier, but I kind of played it awkward and just went for his, well, his hard counters, which didn't work out too well because I should have had the electrified razor tooth out in front to begin with. So I wasn't taking extra damage when I switched out. So that was kind of bad on my part. But, you know, he will bring his elemental out first, as you've seen. So just make sure your water type is out in front. And I've been the Bulu guys. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you all later.